Alright, well, hello viewers, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Clockwork Empires. So, as we see here, ooh, what is this? A group of fish people readers have been approaching our colony. That is not very good. What I was going to say was, uh, well, it looks like we have the, the proud foundings of a little colony so far, but you know what? Raiders and all is not very good. And taking a look at our military, we have... Eh, you know what, a fair amount of arms. So let's grab, say, one of the people from the ki oh, from the kitchen. And move them over here. I don't know if you guys saw that, but uh, my screen went bonkers there for a minute. I don't know, maybe it's safer to use these uh, buttons on the side here than anything. So, yeah, I think we'll have to uh, enlist Pansy Milshock over here to be uh, some sort of man-at-arms. Assuming the day he or she is even a man. To be, uh, yeah, a brave soldier inside this colonial empire. So that'll be that. Apparently we're just leaving... Oh, that's right, we got uh, that supply drop or something of the such there. Um, <laughs> come to think of it, this is a really, really big uh, ceramics workshop. But the good thing is that we can expand that later on, provided that we get rid of the side stockpiles. Uh, nevertheless, though, it works out. Right, so let's continue developing our colony. Oh, that's right, there's one thing that I should say. Um, one of the things about the game is that apparently, you know, reading off of um, some people's comments on the forms, apparently it is slightly buggy, and that is just, you know, something that the game does. So, um, so yeah, we might see some of that, and if we do, uh, unfortunately, I can't do too much about it. So, well, we might have to just kind of go on with it. Anyhow, um, over here, let's get, uh, yeah, lots of food and drink stockpiles, see uh, whether or not we're kind of missing any of those, and I think we'll build another farm here, yeah. So yeah, I think we'll build another cabbage farm over there, just to get our colony started. And gradually, I think we're going to move our colony this way over here because a lot of the stuff on this side of the map um, seems to be, say, more empty and uh, a little bit better for storage, more or less. Oh, I'm guessing the fish people have arrived. There they are. How are we doing, Arda? Have you recovered from your previous wounds? No afflictions, so I'm guessing that's a good sign. There's our local militia fending these guys off. Perfect. So luckily it was just, you know, a few militiamen. Or, you know, a few fish people. That's not too bad. We can butcher these guys up. Make them into some tin can rations or something to such. Um, so, <laughs> we'll see where that takes us. And I think we'll disable uh, food prep there. And likewise over here. I think we have enough food now for the most part for, uh, for our people over here. Yep, lovely stockpile of pumpkins, um, and with those pumpkins, we'll fire up some more pumpkin stew. Yeah, so that should be good. The bad thing is that Dursilla Marstra over here will have to uh, fend off everything by herself here. So let's see, she is, um, yeah, she she was nicked. Oh, she was the, the, the chick who, who got nicked quite a few times by the uh, fish people. Ah. So yeah, that happened earlier. And right now, it looks like there's just a whole bunch of this terrain out over here that we can't really use. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, would you look at that? All of that is buildable area. All of this stuff is buildable area. But our starting zone here, e oh, you know, a portion of it, it was is kind of average. So let's see. Sullivan Cog, the guy who uh, who's trapped over there, is kind of fighting for his life, I guess. This thing, I I want to say it's a party of uh, of raiders. No, these guys are friendly over here, so this is pretty good. 
Taking a look at the factions, I'm guessing this is the, the Republic Mechanique over here by the blue uniforms. I'm guessing the, uh, what is effectively Prussia and Russia inside this game are, um, are hostile. But these guys are pretty friendly dudes. That's pretty good for us. And, oh, a bandit wishes to defect to our colony. So let's see. Yeah, they want to re rejoin society. We can die of the Ternamoy, where we can accept them. We'll accept them, and we will get uh, one more guy to help us out in building things here and there. So not bad, not bad at all. Right, and taking a look at these work uh, groups. Upright boilers seems to be free. We can assign them a work section like that. And ideally, that'll help uh, get brick construction going on. So now, I might want to... Um, I might want to specialize, say, making some of these areas where... Um, specifically kind of enabling and disabling a couple of jobs here. So, uh, let's see, we got ground little friend over here. I'm guessing he is the bandit, and we can assign him to kind of a, a group. Um, here by, and I think we'll make the the, the patriotic uh, temper boxes over here, the go-to group for farming and hauling over here. So I think we'll assign them for the most part a decent amount of people. I want to space out my uh, my workers over here, and there we go. So that should get things working. Lots of people doing the farming. Making sure we have the food crops done. And a decent amount of people, I'm sure, doing the other jobs as well. So let's see, Mr. Cord. I guess we have to re-enable them to do all of those. In fact, why are these people set to, to do none of the jobs, I wonder? Pretty sure I didn't turn them off. That one I did. But the rest should be, yeah, doing their own thing. So that's not too bad. And hey, would you look at that? People are starting to level up in terms of resources and stuff like that. So all the better. All the better indeed. And let's see. Uh, reformed Compressors is the food crew. She could use... I'm guessing, you know, a lot of the people are working on mining. And I don't think they need that many. I think we'll give... Uh, uh, Marstra over here, an assistant for for making the food, as we have a lot of that to get through. And I just noticed there's no way to like increase that by like five or anything like that. Like I can only increase it by one unit each time, which is a little tedious. But so far, I mean, our colony isn't that big. I have plenty of food. Um, I hope none of that expires. That would be really, really bad. But uh, yeah, things should be good. And I hear shots in the distance. Let's see what's happening. He's doing that. The minimap still doesn't work. Um, our guys aren't firing, so okay. I'm going to take that as a good sign. I'm guessing... I'm guessing that means the, the colonial brigade over there is firing. Why is this button all the way over there? It's on the side of my screen. Yeah, <laughs> this one's all the way over here, wow. So there we go. Wow, would you look at that. Quite the nice harvest. How are we doing? We're making bricks now. Perfect. We'll make about 10 bricks. Yeah, and we have a lot of cotton to support that. And the onslaught continues for the fish people. Stab them. Ooh, there you go. So many of these guys coming along the side here. Oh well, they'll meet their they'll meet their fate. Ah, that infantry group was uh, was actually the Germans. Was the Prussians rather? So that's quite interesting. Right, well, so long as the fish people here come near, we shall butcher them and get rid of them like that. Be rest assured, guys, they have no feelings. Then again, they're also dead, too. So it works out. Works out pretty well. Uh, 
Okay. There we go, now, now it's done saving. Okay, so, so far it looks, uh... Things look pretty good. It would be really nice if they, if they could, like, really make use of the screen uh, real estate here that we have for the stuff right over here. Let's see. Chelsea Cogsbrons has some suspicious goods and an intriguing proposal. We can get them to either donate the goods or refuse the goods. And I think this time, we've seen this before. I'll see what happens if you uh, disprove of that. And it doesn't look like anything does. So, okay. It's an interesting development. Right. And in the meantime, from the looks of things, we have enough uh, farming goods f to last us quite a while. Uh, we have more than enough food, as a matter of fact. And the stockpiles are getting quite full of stuff. Right, so I think we'll start uh, developing the town soon enough. Um, hmm. And then in the meantime, let's get a let's get a single criminal to join our column. And I'm guessing Solomon Cog died all the way on the other side of the map. Oh my, oh my! Would you look at that? He has been exploring quite far. Hey, would you look at that? I think this is kind of where Sullivan died. So. Um, yeah, the, the naturalist here has been... Wow, that map is actually pretty big, as a, as a matter of fact, too. I didn't realize it was a, you know that big in scale. So that is, you know, pretty good. Pretty good for the most part. Right, so I'll get our guys to chop down this area. I'm going to see whether or not we can build any roads here. Because that would be really, really useful. So I think... No, it wouldn't be furniture. No, would it wouldn't be a building. I don't really know what that does so far. I'll put one down on the map, an air beacon, if you will. I think that's kind of the thing that allows, um, yeah, us to be able to grab things from up on above. We can, we can actually get rid of this. Or no, maybe we can't. Nope. I guess that has to be built there. Oh well, it's forever there, littering the landscape and all. Oh, hey, would you look at that? The little uh, stockpiles are actually simulated. You got one kind of leaning up against the wall there, you know, just chilling. Okay. So I think once the night passes this time, we have more than enough building materials to make a few things here and there. So I'm guessing, um, you know what, making another place for our people to sleep is, uh, is one thing that we might want to do. And later on, we might want to make the next line of stalls, which seems to be the metal work here. Emigration, perfect. We'll get two more people. Two laborers, perfect. Oh. Not liking the th sound, that music. Sounds like there's a fight going on or something like that. Hopefully there's not. I mean, we don't really, we don't really have the means to handle that. Right, in the meantime, I think we'll uh, build a new stockpile. Can we do that? Yeah, there we go. Disable it for food. And yeah, this seems to be... Uh, you seem to need a lot of these stockpiles inside the game, which is good and bad. Um, I think we'll make one here, and then we'll begin developing the town. So um, I would imagine that the you know the, the civilized people, the, the the middle class over here, would prefer their own houses. So I will make them their own very little district over here. So let's let's do about with that. So now we're really uh, progressing up. We're going to the big leagues here. Oh, I'm guessing there's some more fish people around. What is that? Oh, there's a bandit. Huh. Dead bandits. What do we do with them? Uh, we can we can respect their uh, 
respect their dead. Yeah, later on we'll build a graveyard for now. I don't see it being a particularly... I would say useful thing, so yeah, we won't have it. Then again, one could argue that these uh, decorations I'm making isn't, then you know, they're not terribly useful too. I still hear some fighting. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, we'll make one like that. We still have four bolts of cloth, so I think we'll make two of these upper class homes. And uh, yeah, afterwards we will build a big old ramshackle shacking for um, for people to live in. Come on, there we go. So this time I'm don't think uh, we're not from the looks of it. What exactly is the difference between these two beds? Okay, one is single, one is not. Fair enough. So I think we'll just have that there, yeah? Um, table takes some planks, you know, that's not too bad. Damn it. There we go. Yeah, we won't put any chairs because I'm not sure we can get any more cloth at the moment. So, cloth is... You know, it's fairly important for building those things. Um, so I think we'll leave that as is. Right, and finishing that off, I think that is kind of... Well, no, that might be uh, ultimately the end of how much cloth we have on, on board for now. So alas, we've kind of chosen to, to go with luxury rather than practicality. Um, but... Oh well, we'll go with it for now. Let's grab some more cooked food, keep these guys busy. And let's take a look at what he has to say for uh, for this area. Doesn't seem like um it doesn't seem like they appreciate the furniture as they do in kind of a dwarf fortress. So I'm not really sure what they do so far. Hopefully that'll be maybe perhaps a later on game thing. And it looks like this guy right over here, Lillen Bronzevelt, he's he's killed somebody for the first time. He felt sad but necessary. So, you know, that's kind of neat. I like that they've kind of gone in depth with some of these uh, troopers and all. Ah, and over here we have some coal, we have some malachite for copper, and ideally we'll have some um, some of the stuff needed for uh, for iron ore soon enough on our map. Is that it? No, that's just regular stone. Now I'm looking for um, hematite or something like, like that, I think. Ooh, there's a little camp here. Right, well, I don't want to stray too far away from the base, but um, hopefully there will be some some iron. Ah, there we go, right there. Yeah, they're ugly things, but um, there's some iron ore. We can definitely use that for mining. Right. So yeah, things are not that bad. Huh. Uh oh, what happened here? Our carpentry workshop has become damaged due to overuse and will require repair. Ah, so I see, so that just requires timber. Sure. In the meantime, we can perhaps make a few lamp posts for our buildings over here. So I don't see any um, freestanding structures so far. Or maybe these are it? No, these are still lamps that, yeah, you had to attach them to buildings, eh? That is something that I hoped we would not have to do, but okay, fair enough. Yeah, my thoughts are it would be much better with uh, with kind of free, free floating, if you will, uh, lamps here and there. But no, apparently you can't have them. But apparently you can build them next to uh, the stockpiles. And I guess then, then they just kind of float up inside the air. I mean, if you really wanted to. 
Uh, but we'll pass on that. And oh, would you look at that? These are these are already starting to uh, to be finished, and they have some lovely blue paint to go with them. Look at these two, the disgusting fish steak. Fish people steak, as a, as a matter of fact, too. Okay, so not bad. Our humble little town here is growing at a decent pace. It's a little bit messy over here near the farms, of granted, of course. But apart from that, things look, uh, yeah, things look pretty good. Things look pretty good. So, apparently these cooked fish people steak, they don't seem to be considered food items, which is really, really weird. Fair enough, I guess. How are we looking in here? People are just kind of sleeping the floor. Okay. so that we can hopefully get some more people around the uh, the settlement here. I'm under the impression that uh, apart from beds, we're pretty good on everything else and we just need a lot of manpower to fully man these, uh, these work crews. So yeah, I guess I could get more people to work on the uh, the building construction over here. Yep, and they'll gradually get that done. And now, going from there, I think we could use a, a metalsmith for sure. We'll get another bandit to join our colony. Ooh, he's all the way over here. He's being chased by a thing. No wonder he left his camp. <laughs> Right, so we've seen in the past one of these guys getting stuck inside these, uh... These things, these... Buffalo-like things. I'll, I'll send the... I'll send someone to hunt for that, hopefully kill it, and save our guy. Or never mind, it's coming back to our base. Right, so ideally the uh, the colonial core here will deal with that. Looks like Ada is uh, making a rounds. Boom! There we go. Slayed the thing. We get Wolfram, the uh, the bandito, to uh, serve with us. Not bad. Not bad at all. Right, and we can get him into a work crew, constructing buildings and all. So I'm gonna... ...try to evenly distribute our, uh, our work laborers here. So there we go, send me some more criminals. There we go. I think this is a uh, Merrier Powderworth is uh, the person who joined us over here. He's got the beard and all thing going on. I 
And I don't think they started working on the beds now, have they? Yeah, they're taking the starting to take the cloth. So that's that's good and bad. I think we'll make a mine over here, or not a mine, but a metal workshop um, near over here. And I'm gonna make this a, a pretty big building at that because I see I see a lot of work being done inside there. So the idea, I think, is that we need some smelting crucibles, and I think we need some kins as well, and maybe perhaps a forge as well. So these come at, at what I believe to be uh, different efficiencies is, uh, is the thing. So we have a typical door, we have a typical um, loading bay entrance, and I think right now the best thing to do, because I don't know too much about this, is to probably have uh, a line of these stone ones kind of set up like that. And then afterwards, you, I, I'm not seeing too many workshops honestly being used. I'm, I'm coming from a, a, a dwarf fortress mentality where I'm kind of assuming those are kind of the most valuable buildings inside these workshops. But over here, it doesn't, it doesn't seem as though they are. So let's see, this thing. This airship mast will signal passing airships where they are to drop off goods and emigrate immigrants. Okay, that's fair enough. Right, so that's one building that I want, and in addition to that, I want a textiles workshop. And I suppose we can make something just like that. Suspicious goods, refuse them again. I guess they didn't fully flesh out this building, it's just the workshop and the uh, the thing. But be rest assured, we can expand that to maybe like a four-person one, if need be. Yeah, I'm under the impression we need some more bricks. And we need some more uh, carpentry wares over here. And that should fulfill our, uh, our quantities for now. Yeah, would you look at that, the construction crew <laughs> merging through the building, grabbing wares too. Well, that's early access for you folks. So I trust that... Okay, so this room is already built. This one requires a chair, but it has the bed and all, so that's pretty good. Yeah, but that is, uh, well... Yeah, all of the, uh, the textiles being used. So it's a good thing we're building a textiles place, and afterwards I think we have a fully... Or, you know, already I think we already have a fully sustainable colony. So not bad, not bad at all. Oh no, the lights don't light up. That sucks. Or no, no, that one just hasn't been built. Right, well, I think uh, we'll make an episode here on the end of day 10. And well, when we come back, we shall uh, resume with more Clockwork Empires.